take this. Ooh, good dance. I like your juice dance. <laughs> Silly. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be decluttering the kids' playroom downstairs. There is a ton of toys that we have. I used to run a daycare out of our home, so we have extra, extra, extra toys that nobody plays with. Now, it's gonna be a little bit of a fine line because we do have to keep some of the toys for our other son who's coming up who is eight months old. Uh, so we do have to keep some stuff but we have a lot that we can give away as well. So, you're gonna help me? Yeah. Yep, so Holden is gonna help me pick out some of the toys that he no longer plays with so that we can give them to who? Uh, people don't have, that people don't do, don't have any toys. Yeah, there's some people that don't have any toys, so we're gonna give some of our toys we don't play with anymore to yeah. them, right? Yeah. Perfect, okay. So we are gonna head downstairs and I'm gonna show you guys how the playroom looks. It is a huge disaster, so this is also gonna be partly a clean with me as well. We're gonna be cleaning, organizing, decluttering, the whole shebang. So we're gonna have a ton of motivation for you in today's video. So make sure if you are in need of that, that you stick around. Okay, let's go. Okay, you guys, so this is the state of our playroom right now. So it is pretty messy. We've already started going over a couple of things over there. Um, that pile right there is stuff that we already know we're gonna give away, so we'll go through that in a little bit. But yeah, we already, it's pretty messy in here, so we're gonna be needing to do some cleaning as well, um, and some organization too, so. But we're gonna start with the decluttering because the more we can get rid of, the easier it will be to clean up afterwards, of course. Yes, so, that's right. Yeah. So I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to look through, we're going to look through this bin, which is all stuffed animals, and Holden does not really play with stuffed animals at all. None of them. I never see him playing with them. So I'm sure there's a few in here that we can get rid of. So like I said, we started out with these stuffed animals and it was the sweetest thing. Holden just right away grasped the concept. I didn't even have to really explain it to him about like touching every item and seeing if he really liked it. He was the one, he was like picking items out and he was like, yeah, he decided through all of, of this whole bin what to keep and what to get rid of. And once we went through it once, then he actually wanted to go through it again. He was like, now let's go through it and see if I change my mind about any of them and that I wanna give away. So he wanted to go through his bin that he decided to keep and see if there was any more that he possibly could give away that maybe he changed his mind about. So we went through it twice. He wanted to go through it a third time. And I said, you know what, let's just keep these ones because he ended up getting rid of quite a few of them. So let's just keep these ones and we'll go through them again in a few months if you still don't play with them. And then you can decide to give away more but he was right into the spirit of it i was so proud of him and he did such a good job let's go deeper i want to reach it all take me leap or fall
so as you guys can see it is now the next day and Holden is actually at preschool while I'm doing the rest of this he did really really well with me the day before and he we got through quite a few things um, but then just you know everyday life started coming up and we ended up not being able to finish what we were doing so I wanted to take the time while he was gone to just go ahead and finish cleaning up because he towards the end just started wanting to play with everything so I thought I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest on my own and make some of the tougher decisions like I mean he still is a kid he was so excited to help and everything um, but and to give away some of the toys but of course there was a few items where he was like oh I want to keep that I'm like you never ever ever play with that <laughs> ever so there was a few of the harder decisions that I was able to make when he wasn't there um, but for the most part he he decided everything to give away which was awesome so I really feel like it's important to try to instill that in children you know like when they're young that you know there are people that are less fortunate and do whatever we can which is little you know um, to, to give them things that we don't play with anymore that's just something small that we can do that would really make a difference in someone else's life so but yeah so I wanted to go ahead and just finish up while he was gone and he was so happy to come back to a nice clean playroom and he didn't even notice the items that he had that we hadn't decided on he didn't he hasn't noticed anything missing at all so that shows me that we definitely did the right thing here So I really wanted to go ahead and move this little dresser into this little closet area. Um, it, this little dresser carries all of our like seasonal gear. So right now I have all the winter stuff stored in it. And then once it's winter time and I bring out the winter stuff, then I'll put the summer stuff back in here. So, and I'm also thinking about like maybe the shelves above, um, just putting footwear on there as well. So it's just like one little outdoor area. So we'll see if I end up doing that or not. Um, but when I first, uh, I didn't actually show this. I don't know why I didn't show it. I just got so freaked out by it um, that I just started cleaning it up and I didn't even think to film it. But when I first pulled everything out of this little closet, there was actually quite a bit of mold on the bottom there. Um, we had some, we had a leak in our basement a couple of weeks ago and like so it was really really damp in my basement for a couple of weeks and it was just crazy so I pulled away pulled that away and there was a bunch of mold so I had to clean all of that off and it was just like quite the process and then there ended up being mold inside the room there you guys can see that little door that's open there ended up being mold in there as well so it just added a ton more to my cleaning you guys can see behind me like, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna have to throw away now like there's those boards there they're just like you can even see they're all water worn um, and they got to get thrown away and there's some toys that got uh, that got destroyed as well so oh, but I'm really glad that I took the time to go and like do this deep clean of the basement because I wouldn't have found that um, had I not decided to move that stuff away from the walls On the roads we used to walk but the river swapped along with us
happy bed when the sun is gone. Now the wind's blowing, and I'm right back here again. It might take a while, but I understand that I keep thinking about those years ago. When sleeping next to you was usual. I'd rather spend a lifetime on my own than never be in love those years ago. I can't stop thinking about those years ago. When sleeping. Okay, you guys, so I am done the playroom. Uh, my boyfriend just cleaning, gonna be cleaning up his corner of the basement. But I am, for the most part, done, and we've picked out all the toys that we're going to be donating and or selling. I also have some of Dawson's things in here that we will no longer be needing. So I'll show you that first. Okay, so this is the sell or give away pile. So I'm pretty happy we still have a ton of toys for Holden and Dawson. Um, but we have this bassinet that I didn't end up using at all with Dawson. So I figured I'm not going to keep it. Like if we plan on having another baby, I'm just gonna do what I did with Dawson, which was use his little nest in the bed with me. Um, so I'm gonna be giving, um, selling this bassinet and then also this little floor mat thing. Um, it's like starting to fall apart here a little bit, so somebody could, I'm sure, fix it. But, um, and then there's a bunch of other toys, a whole box full. We've got some stand-up toys, some walking toys, that kind of stuff, and this little table that we never use. So there's quite a bit here that we will be getting rid of. And then, so I'll show you kind of what we kept. So as you guys can see, there is still plenty of toys <laughs> for them, tons of stuff for them to do. We've got their little activity center there that has a little soccer post, a basketball post, it's a football post, and it comes with the little balls as well. And then we have this little thing for cars. We've got a little cleaning set. Um, we've got a whole shopping kit with a kitchen, and then we have, this turns into a desk, but we're just gonna use it as a toy box for now. So a whole bunch of just random toys in here <laughs> that they can pull out. We've got train tracks, all the train tracks in there, plus two other sets. We've got this little crane, we've got stuffed animals in there in that bin, and then Hot Wheels. There's just a little bit of everything, so all this stuff here is stuff that has to either go upstairs like the bumbo chair and that little push toy i think that dawson's gonna be ready for that soon and a couple of bins there and then the rest like this is all garbage i think i would have told you guys <laughs> in the voiceover um that i ended up finding a whole bunch of mold and that was in this room here where I store all of the baby things that we keep. There's a bunch of mold in there, so I had to go through everything. That was a bunch of stuff that I had to get tossed. Um, I ended up moving this little dresser that was here. I moved it in here. It just fit perfectly in there. And I've got just a bunch of games up there. Eventually what I might do come winter time, because this is where I store all of our winter gear, I might just move like winter shoes up on these shelves so it's all just like winter gear in this whole little closet area so might end up doing that we will see and then I moved the trampoline just right over here it was over there but it opens up quite a bit so yeah I think once we <laughs> get rid of this whole little area here then it will look pretty good it'll be nice and open and there's a big space here of course for them to play everything's tidied up everything's organized and there is a lot less toys in here so everything fits better and i think that they will have a better time playing because there's actually less toys 
so yeah so that pretty much wraps up this video i really was happy that holden i kind of explained to him like what we're going to be doing as far as giving the toys away to kids that don't have any toys or don't have very many toys and he was all on board so that made me super happy and as you guys saw throughout the beginning of the video he was just like i don't play with this i don't play with this i don't want this so that made me super happy and we still have tons of toys to pass down to Dawson so not worried about that either and we can you know bless some other kids as well then plus like I said I have read before that kids are actually more imaginative with less toys because they don't get quite as overwhelmed whereas if there's so many toys which I mean we still have a lot of toys like don't get me wrong we still have an exorbitant amount of toys <laughs> way more than they need um, but you know I'm just hoping that that kind of helps and will help them to play a little bit longer and better and be more imaginative in their play so let me know in the comments down below if you are in need of cleaning up and clearing out your kids toys and how do you do it do your kids let you do it like how Holden did for me or do you have to kind of like sneak and do it when they are not there <laughs> <laughs> because there were some things like Holden's gone and there I got rid of a couple of things that I'm pretty sure that he'd be like mm, but I know he never plays with so but overall I'm really happy with the decisions that we made and I think it turned out great so let me know in the comments down below like I said if this is something that you need to do with your kids toys as well and I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in my next video bye about to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know